Kumusta? Magkape tayo. I want to share you this coffee. And uh, let's try. Cheers. Ah, coffee, coffee, and it's um. Five twenty-five in the afternoon, and it's uh, what day is today? It's the fourth of January, twenty twenty-two. Ikaapat ng Enero sa taong 2022. <laughs> Di ba? Uh, this is a confession. I don't feel so motivated. I'm not motivated. I just like to record this video just to share with you how I feel today. Especially it's the... Uh, First week of uh, the year, 2022. I really don't feel motivated. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. So, I'm addressing this video to all my students in Tagalog. Whether you are a student in quiet and just reading a student or just a listening a student, or whether you are a student uh, who come to me <laughs> via private message or also whether you are a student who once in a while uh, chat with me via google meet jitsi skype or sometimes i do big blue button especially to my one-on-one -on -one premium students and any other platform that i we tried right like example we tried um, stream yard yeah but of course and all those people <laughs> who connect with me uh, in the world of um, learning tagalog yes whether you are on youtube with me yes come join me this is a, like maybe not a short talk but maybe this can be quite a long talk today <laughs> yeah oh okay what do i want to say i feel lonely i feel lonely for so many reasons maybe because uh, i'm worried about my family in the philippines but that's another thing but of course uh, my priority really is uh, to connect with my audience especially those who wish, who wish to learn Tagalog I've been doing this um, since 2019 actually I started this uh, last um, November I think that was November in 2019 imagine that that was before COVID when I started this <laughs> and, and looking back a lot how many years almost it's going three years now right? The reason why I, I started this, it was really just like experimental, <laughs> experimental. It has always been experimental. Like I started to upload my YouTube uh, video uh, with me and Bruce. Uh, that was the Masipag video. And in fact, that Masipag video is the most viewed among all my videos, right? I think so. If you get to my YouTube channel and you see which of those videos are most viewed, it was the Masipag video and Bruce was there with me. And that was awkward actually. So right, uh, uh, a little bit of history. Uh, in, uh, I remember <laughs> vividly that my first, my other phone got run out of storage so i remember 
Oh, I have this Google account and I actually have a, a YouTube channel and I started that YouTube channel in 20, in 2008, actually, 2008. And I didn't, back then I was really hesitant to, to show up in public, right? And I was just uh, keeping my, my videos on pri private, personal videos. Back then, when I was still uh, teaching full time in Cavite in the Philippines, I was uh, a faculty uh, in the engineering and technology department in the in Emilio Aguinaldo College. So back then, I was keeping a little bit of videos. Uh, sometimes those videos were. Uh, presentations of my students uh, when we had these events like uh, competition and I've been I was be betting on some uh, good students in our department I, I, and I got to record their dances their their performances so those were my few videos in public and then uh, came uh, 2019 and so i remember i have this youtube channel and i say oh let me let me uh, edit a little bit of my video and try uploading but i was i was like okay i will i i think i i would like to um, to I think I, I like to, to make more and more of these videos. So I need audience because it can be, what is the sense of uploading a video without audience? So I was like, and then I was like, I need to, to um, have a specific uh, topic to my uh, video. And I was telling my husband, Bruce, of course, my husband, Bruce, I was telling him, I like to create uh, content about uh, Tagalog language because I'm here in the USA now and I kind of kind of forget <laughs> how to speak Tagalog or maybe later on I will be forgetting how to speak Tagalog. Yes, so that was uh, my one of the purpose why I started YouTube channel or making videos, right? And then, of course, I, I need an audience, so I needed to promote this video. And so on uh, Facebook, I kind of searched for a group, yes. And then I found, uh, of course, uh, uh, maybe many of you or majority of my students belong to Learning Tagalog group. Yes, the biggest one on group on Facebook. So I kind of search those kinds of groups and other groups that are smaller than that so i searched for it and i was like oh i found i i i got to convince myself that there is there is an there is audience is it correct my english is audience or an audience or are audience <laughs> there are audiences <laughs> is that a good english uh, i would say mm, Maybe there is an audience to teaching Tagalog or people who want to learn Tagalog. So I think it's the right time to promote my video and maybe it will give me a reason to make more and more videos. Right? And then, since then, I met some people, yes, uh, I connected with um, some people. But I miss those very first few people i miss those people who were the very first few people i say the founding members in my community yes in my community i call you porenoi if you are a guy and then i call you porenai if you are a female is the i feel empty i feel like there's a void I don't know, I feel so attached with my audience. <laughs> I think that uh, my audience has grown already to about, what, 
how many are you tell me how many are my audience now i think you are about 600 or what or so maybe you are just less than 800 so there's a lot of you and it can be overwhelming i like to remember all of you i like i like to remember many of you especially those who are who appreciate what i'm doing but of course to some people maybe they, sometimes they walk away <laughs> or they turn their they turn their back away from me they have reason they have valued the reason and i don't blame them but if you return to me and um, if at some point you you watch this video and maybe if you're one of those who turned your back away from me I don't know if I have hurt you, if I have offended you, maybe yes or maybe no. There are lots of you and it's hard to address my message to just one person. Sometimes I get misinterpreted. Yes, and sometimes that's how it is, I think. People, people didn't take so serious I think that the main point of this uh, message was to recap rec or to remember what we have done where we were in 2020 and 2021 where what did we do sometimes i have unsubscribed people i wonder that's why i feel so emotional or sometimes i feel i feel what uh, irritated